We had our uh, first practice yesterday, and from what I see, uh, everyone's playing pretty good. Looks like we're gonna have a pretty deep roster this year. There's a bunch of guys, probably right around 10 to 12 guys that can play in the starting five, uh, which is really good for a golf roster. So, you know, sky's the limit this year, I think. You know, we just gotta work hard and get it done. We look awesome. Um, we're looking better and better each day I see the guys play. You know, we lost, um, we lost a senior last year. It was a tough loss. John Clancy has been in the starting lineup for I think four years straight. Um, but we picked up a couple new good freshmen. And you know, our team's unbelievably deep this year. We got honestly 10 or 12 guys that can, that can crack the starting five at any point in the year. Um, and I think it's gonna bring a lot of the competitiveness out in everybody. And um, it's gonna, we're, we're gonna be looking really good this year, I think. Guys who have played in the NE10, um, we've had, we have a couple guys who played in the national championship, NCAA regional, so bringing all kinds of experience to these guys that haven't been there before is huge. You know, they could take them along the way, show them how it's done. Um, you know, all these guys play, you know, big tournaments during the summer. So, you know, going into an NE10 championship, I think they'll they'll feel a little bit more comfortable uh, playing a lot of tournaments in the, in the summer. A lot of these kids have done really well in the summer events, so you know, I think uh, they're gonna be well prepared uh, for the championship for sure. Not only having, you know, experience in college tournaments, the NE10s, the NCAAs, um, but also having previous, you know, tournament um, experience, being able to play coming up through junior golf, coming up playing summer leagues and summer tournaments. Um, that's unreal for the guys to be able to draw back on. And it pretty much just puts us at ease out there. We're used to the pressure. So it's just, for us, it's gonna be another round. It's a long year. Unfortunately, we, you know, at the end of October, we have like pretty much a four month layover for golf. That's kind of tough, but you know, somehow another way we get it done. Um, a lot of indoor practice um, and then traveling up down south in the spring. So hopefully we can, you know, lead a good practice session after the season's done with all these guys and, you know, really rejuvenate ourselves for the NCAA championship. It'd be cool to see how we match up with uh, St. A's. They're usually, um, you know, middle of the pack when it comes to um, the NE10. So if we can take them down, I think we'll be able to gauge um, how we're looking this year. and. It's, uh, it'll be good to try and get a, a quick win against them and carry that momentum into the season. This is a one day match. Good to see how guys play under, under pressure. You know, we got some new guys. We'll see how they, they do under pressure. Got some returners, thirsting to get out there and, and get the season started. So it's a good thing to you know, get this uh, you know, one day tournament, um, you know, take a look at what everyone's doing.